Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So, I've got a couple of inbox reviews coming out for you um, this time um, because of obviously all of the kits I've picked up from Telford. So, I just thought I should do inbox reviewing them, some videos up. So, first of all, Focker Wolf um, FW8. Um, 172 scale airfix not sure about this kit i haven't looked at any reviews i know one of these people i'm subscribed to has built this kit um did a good job on it uh i forgot who it was now um so it's a new tool i think well the um recess panel lines so it doesn't really fit in the box it's a bit bulging outside a little bit actually so okay so first of all, on the box, nice um, painting, uh, and this is kit number A01020. On the back, you've got the colour scheme and all of the humbrol paints. And on the side, there's some pictures of the finished model and Hornby and uh, warnings and stuff. But what I can't see is cartograph decals. So yeah. Uh, here, skill one fly now at uh, skill level one, and uh, it is a length of one hundred and twenty-five millimeters, a width of one hundred and forty-five millimeters, and pieces fifty-three. So it's the box. I'll get some of the decals first. Um, Let's see what they are. Um, they do look like cartograph decals. This is a new kit, so I'm presuming they are. They've just not put it on the box. So, quite nice and matte. Um, and you've got instrument panels, which are good. Uh, so, yep, that's that. Looking pretty nice. Next, we have the instructions. So, first of all, stand there, fix your instructions, um, all of the information on the fuck all. Uh, here you have, again, assembly instructions and icons. Uh, here, quite bigger than usual um, airfix instructions, more like large on paper. Um, they're usually a bit smaller, not sure why. I haven't really built an airfix kit in a while, especially 172, so can't really remember, but oh well. So, first, cockpit detail um, is quite easy to see. Um, again, putting fuselages together, standard. Uh, here, option to have a stand and drilling out the, um, the holes for the drop tanks or bombs, whatever it is. Presumably, drop tanks. Next, you have um front panels and rudder and horizontal stabilizers and here you have panels for it's the guns it's really small um oh is it these yeah i think it's the uh, panels that go over the guns underneath uh fuselage onto the uh, wings, landing gear up or down, uh, and then you've got canopy and the strong decal, um, which is um, on lots of horse, obviously. Um, and finally, which is good um, stencils, and I'm presuming on the back. I oh, know it's on the box, isn't it? Yeah. So instead of having it on the back, on the back of the paper, the um, Colour, colour um, sheet. It's on the back. Uh, so that's for the stencils, which is easy to see. The instructions look really nice. So, oh, that bag in the bag now. Here we have the pots, all in one bag.
can get it open from there. So, first of all, no flash and really nice uh, recess pan lines. Uh, I don't know if that's. Oh, I did. Um, again, another sprue. Again, looks really nice on the wings and good wheels, wheel well detail as well. Um, also, a few buttons on the cockpit, nicely detailed on there as well. And the bottom part of the wings, um, that actually looks bent up. Um, if you can see that, that wing here looks a bit um, like it's been bent. You know, it might be a problem compared to the other wing. It's um, really I'm sloping down, so that might be a problem. Um, Stabilisers um, have like the where all the stress detail where the um, fabric is and wheels look really nice as well. So, as the parts. Um, no flash on them at all. Uh, so, yeah, looks really nice. And clear parts. Quite nice to see through them, fine, nice and uh, shiny. So, that's good. So that's it overall guys and you also have this club thing. So that's it overall. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.